Good evening. Um, yeah, so these are some thoughts I've put together on the future of social media marketing. Um, I got pretty busy, so the lot of the thoughts have been transferred to your screen in a uh, record amount of time. So please forgive me for quite amusing, uh, not meant to be amusing, but quite amusing quality of uh, uh, presentation. Um, so what we're looking at is... Um, uh, the current stage, can you all hear me if I move away from the microphone? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the current status of the kind of advertising budget spend, uh, anyone who disagrees, please chip in. Good, bad, you think it's rubbish? Yes. Roughly, yeah? Okay, cool, thank you. Um, so basically, you've got your kind of ad agency getting three million pounds of spend, maybe. I mean, I've, the figures, of course, change, but uh, your PR agency may get 300,000, and your, your web design agency may get 100K, uh, that, kind of, that kind of thing. Um, what I'm trying to show is that each one is trying to say they do social media. So your ad agency will say, oh yeah, we can do social media, look, we do it in this section here. You know, we, we, we cover that off in that, in that section of the Venn diagram. And the PR agency says, well look, we'll put a mashup together for you, we'll have like a Twitter feed. And we do, we do social media over here, we're, we're social media. And the web design uh, firms, obviously, you get the drift. Do this, you know, they, they, they say, okay, we do, we do, we do, obviously we do social media because we're web design, but, but we also do PR for you. Um, and we'll do a bit of advertising as well, because we can do that. And they kind of try and, try and creep into each other's space. Um, the point is that a lot of social media work, and it's a bit of an annoying term, but social media work gets stuck in the middle. And with so many people saying they're doing it and doing it in different fashions, what is it, how does it work, you know, people get a bit, it's all get a bit, it's a bit mushy. So, um, the question I wanted to ask was, not why is it mushy, sorry, led on badly there. Uh, the question I wanted to ask was, why is so much money being given to, to media and, and where's, how is this all going to change over the next few years? And the answer to this question, why, <laughs> is, um, is it's about content, in my opinion. Uh, uh, so, for instance, what I was suggesting is, at the moment you've got channels, and traditionally you had channels because you had high distribution costs. You had to have uh, a massive, you know, aerial that would distribute television and push it out, and uh, everyone had to have a, a television box. So you had the BBC, ITV, Sky, all the traditional television channels had all this expense to set up and you know got millions of people to hire and, and, and to make everything work um, uh, and then uh, you've got so for instance your high cost of buying airtime and the high production co production cost of making an ad you have to make your own film to go in between the film uh, and it all at costs a lot that's why you need that much money um, how's this going to change um, is because technology is changing. We're going from having a television and a computer to having a computer, basically. Uh, you're not going to have a plasma screen that's not connected to the internet that can do everything you can do on your Mac in five years' time. Or if you are, you're not an early adopter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true. These are ideas, but um, effectively, eventually it will. I mean, presume, does anyone disagree with me that eventually, doesn't forget the time frame, does anyone here think that that won't happen? Okay, cool. Um, great. <laughs> Thanks very much. No, kidding. Um, okay, so channel basically becomes less important. So I'm going to go back to two things, to the content thing. I put in Bebo and YouTube because they also provide content, but it's really, really cheap to put your content up there. Uh, you don't have to pay airtime like you do if you want to put your ad on, on the BBC or, or so, sorry, on ITV or Sky. Um, but maybe the, qual maybe the content is, is a bit poor. So... At what point does this change when, when content content's going to become king? Because as we go from this position of, uh, of technology being in this one place, so content is going to become king because you're going to be like, well, yeah, I can tune in on my computer television thing to the BBC or to ITV or Sky, but I can also go to Bebo or YouTube or, or any other, uh, you know, I can go to Brightcove, I can go to any URL, and I could get really high quality content so long as the content there is, is of a good, good, good content. 
high quality. So you, what we're seeing is you can imagine that there's this graph of, of good content down to poor content and that you would just choose based on, you could have a line maybe in the middle, and that's why I've kept this line here, of maybe you'd pay on this side and maybe over here you'd actually be paid. And I've put a little example here, I don't know if you can read that, but like QVC. Uh, that might be a channel that you would go, Christ, I'm a bit short of funds. Um, I'm actually going to log on to qvc.com and they're going to pay me 25p a minute to watch their dreadful television. Because that's great, you know, the advertisers are willing to do that. And over here, you know, whatever's up on this channel, and I've used Bebo as an example, it could be anything, whatever channel that is, regardless of terrestrial or internet, that could be like a high definition, amazing quality movie that's just been released, hasn't even come out in the cinema, so you're going to pay £250 to have, you know, to be able to watch it uh, once, maybe. It could be anything. Um, that's how I, I see it working. Um, so far, is, is anyone thinking I'm completely on acid? No? <laughs> yeah, everyone. Cool. Okay, well, watch this space. I hope to prove right. Um, people will watch whatever engages them most. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's basically the answer to that. Um, moving on. So what makes good content? Let's just go back to this kind of wrapping up. Uh, experiential content, everyone, we all know that the thing that, f forget a really high quality movie, somewhere in the middle of that graph we just looked at, uh, between the high definition movie and watching QVC, is entertainment for you that is visual, but also you can interact with it. It's experiential, it's personalised, um, uh, it's things maybe that are like Facebook, Facebook with, with live streaming, that kind of thing where you can comment. There's all these new technologies, new interaction points that you can go for. So um, it's social media. That's th that's where a bit like when Sky introduced the red button, everyone's like, okay, well, what can we do to make that television television plus with a red button? In the same way, okay, so now that it's Sky and Facebook and all these other channels with all these amazing technology points, what can we do to make that uh, experience you know more interactive and when you get that, you understand that the brand experience is, as an advertiser, that's what's really important. Is it's not how high budget your Kleenex advert is, for example, that you know everyone watches it and maybe they take it in. I obviously did this week, um, but uh, it's more how can okay how can I interact with this product when it comes to advertising, and that I believe is how we can get from this diagram right now, where we have a huge amount spent on advertising, where it's pure kind of old-fashioned push. Yeah, this is this is our product. It's really good, look at our expensive advert, to more of a model where, yeah, we're in the middle of that, of that chart where there's, there's the engagement with that brand, where people are going, well, we don't really need such an expensive advert because we can have all these other things like games on Facebook and, and you know, whatever it is that, that social media firms produce. Um, and I think that's where this, this new area will, this, this small bit of the Venn diagram that used to be in the middle here, um, this tiny little bit right in the middle, is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger over the next five years until you're going to have big agencies that are going to do your media buying and will do your PR because it's all becoming one place, which is the internet. Um, and the most experiential, uh, best campaigns will all be done by social media firms in the middle. Um, that's it. Thank you very much.